Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be a fall wax haul. So I did a pretty big Scentsy order and then I also went into Walmart and went through their wax section and got a lot of new stuff for fall. So I'm really excited to get into everything because I am very new, not very new, but pretty new to wax melting. I just started in about February of this year. Um, so I am actually kind of getting through all the summer stuff at work in my warmer at work. And so I decided um, to reward myself for getting through all my summer stuff that I get a lot of fall stuff. So this is actually my first year um, doing fall wax melts. So I'm really excited and I can't wait to show you guys what I got. So let's go ahead and get into the haul. So the first thing I have actually, I have pulled up the Scentsy site on my computer so that way I can like tell you the scent notes and everything. Um, the first thing I actually got was a Glisten Warmer and it's super gorgeous. I'll show some footage right now because I already have it going downstairs. Um, but I wanted to get a warmer that was kind of year round and something that would be really pretty in our living room to kind of display, um, but wasn't really seasonal. So I could have gotten the pumpkin one that's new. It's so cute, but I just didn't do that. <laughs> I just got a regular one um, and it was $40, but I did do the bundle and save option. And so I'll tell you guys um, the other, the three things that I got to bundle it with. So the first one is breakfast in bed. So let me pull up the scent notes of this one. This says, wake up to a warm pumpkin pastry filled with black raspberry and topped by a sweet cinnamon drizzle. And the um, wax inside is pretty much the exact same color as the um, packaging. So this came to me actually about maybe five or so days ago and it wasn't none of these were like smelling super strong because I think it was just so hot here in Texas um, that everything had been kind of like made so that it's not that smelly anymore it was just too hot um, but this is very strong now I definitely get the raspberry cinnamon drizzle and a little bit of a bakery note but um I'm not sure I get much pumpkin, but I might get pumpkin once it's warm, but I really was excited about this one because I've heard so many people rave about it. So it's the first one I got in the set. And then I got Hug in a Mug. I've also heard really good things about this one. So this says, uh, envelope your home and heart with a warm wrap of chocolate, hazelnut, and cookie dough. So I think it's basically supposed to be kind of a um, hot cocoa scent. I don't know. But here's what it looks like, Dur. Let me show you. And the wax inside is the exact same color as the packaging. But this one, I've never had a chocolate scent. And oh my gosh, I definitely get the cookie dough. Oh, that is so yummy. Super excited about this one. And then the last one that I got in that bundle is Graham Cracker Crunch. So cute. So the scent notes on this one are caramelized graham cracker layered with crunchy peanut butter and creamy vanilla beans. So actually it's kind of like toffee, huh? Um, or like those, what are they? Uh, like not brittle. Yeah, brittle. Oh, look. Okay. The bar's going to slide out. Okay. So Ashley Nicole here on YouTube, my friend, she says to smell the bottom of your bar because it smells different. So let's see. Definitely getting a little bit of that peanut butter. The bottom is 100% vanilla. Mm, mm mm This is so good. It has like a slight bakery scent note to it. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. I feel like it's a very mild scent too because my mom is not the biggest fan of like pumpkin or something super strong and cinnamony, but this is like a nice simple bakery one that I think she'll really like. And I can imagine um, kind of mixing it with a few other things too. So the next thing I got was actually a Harvest Bundle. So let me pull this up. It's called the Harvest Scentsy Bar 3 Pack. So it came with toasted acorn and oak. This is the first one. It kind of has like the packaging that looks like the inside of a tree. And then the wax is the same color. This one I definitely would not have bought if it wasn't in this like three pack. Um, it is toasted acorn and creamy chestnut roasted over golden oak, bringing warmth to a crisp evening. So usually I don't get like fresh scents or like outdoorsy scents, but it smells so good. I'm getting so much of the like creamy chestnut and a little bit of like crisp, almost kind of like an autumn leaves kind of feel. I mean leaves from Bath and Body Works. And this three pack was $17, by the way. So that's the first one. And then the second one is Cranberry Pumpkin Spice. 
The scent notes on this are sugared cranberry adds a sweet kick to baked pumpkin delightfully infused with cinnamon spice. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good. This smells like the inside of Hobby Lobby during fall. Mm, that is so yummy. This one might be one that I have to uh, not burn around my mom or not melt around my mom because she's probably not going to enjoy that one. And then the last one in that um, three pack is Orchard Apple and Spice and it has little apple trees. How cute. And this is some red wax. The scent notes are an autumn treat of ripe orchard apple is complemented by bright cherry and a finishing touch of warm spice. Okay, so there's cherry in this. Oh, that's delicious. Okay. I like this. It's like fresh and fruity. That's a really good one. Especially when it's like not actually cold here during the fall because most of the time it's not cold. So, okay, so that's that one. And then I did pick up two from the Halloween line and I think it's already sold out. So I had a hard time finding the sentence of these, but I found it one way or another. So the first one that I have is Halloween Town. So let's have a little peek at the packaging. I think they're supposed to be unique in each one that you get. Um, it's supposed to be like different packaging for each one that people receive. So this is the like, I think this is like a lilac kind of wax. The scent notes are, everybody scream for a sinister potion of cranberry, apple, and spiced cedarwood concocted in the dead of night. So cranberry, apple, and cedarwood. Yeah, I would not have gotten this one either. It's kind of masculine, and I'm thinking this is going to go mainly in my warmer at work because there's like a bunch of guys that I work with. It's I'm the only girl there. So sometimes when I have the fruity scents, like they're, they're like, what's going on? So I feel like they'd appreciate this one, but not one that I would usually get because it is a little like musky, but still Halloween, I wanted to be festive. And then the last Scentsy bar that I got is the Nightmare Before Christmas Jack's Obsession. And I got him like screaming, um, doing the scary face. So the wax on the inside is this bright, bright, green it's like a neon green it almost looks like it would glow in the dark which i don't think it will but it looks it really looks like it like the packaging right here looks like it would glow in the dark but this looks like it would glow in the dark too um the scent notes are eureka this cauldron full of apple spiced with clove and cinnamon makes for a ghoulishly grand brew so apple spice clove and cinnamon oh it's so appley wow it's very um I think it's the clove that I'm smelling, but this is super spicy. Like, wow, this is going to be really good in October, especially if it's cold. Like, ooh, this one's going to be so good. So I'm very excited about all the Scentsy stuff that I got. So happy and so excited to try it out. So let's move into the stuff that I got from Walmart. So I did go in and just, I really hadn't planned on going on the wax oil, but I did. So the first two that I got are from Mainstays, and these are like the 98 cent ones. So the first one is Hazelnut Cream. I was really looking for a coffee wax milk so I could uh, melt that at work because I don't know, I want a coffee scent while I'm working. And I wouldn't say it is like 100% coffee. I would say it's more like the hazelnut um, creamer. That's what it smells like. But still, it smells really good. And it was only 98 cents, so like whatever. And then I got Crispy Treats, which is supposed to be like basically um, Fruity Pebbles. It smells exactly like Fruity Pebbles. They had this in Mainstays and in Better Homes and Gardens, or maybe Sensationals. Um, so I decided to get this one, and if I like it, I can get the more expensive one. Ugh. Oh, so good. It literally smells exactly like Fruity Pebbles. So those two are the only ones I got from Mainstays. And then I only got one from Better Homes and Gardens. And this is in Pomegranate and Spiced Cider. The scent notes are Pomegranate, Apple, Cinnamon, Clove, Spice, and Wine Accord scent notes. So here's the packaging on that one. And the wax is like a deep, uh, deep red burgundy color. Oh, it looks kind of weird. <laughs> but I definitely get like the spice cider that's pretty much exactly what it smells like is spice cider and i feel like i'm gonna have to let this one cure for a little bit because it's not super strong so i might not melt this right away um and then i got three from sensationals the first one i got is feeling cozy this is warm woods and crisp apple so i just noticed actually that the um sensationals ones have this like little emblem on here so i guess this one is like um woodsy because it's like the 
it looks like a little bonfire kind of or like logs maybe it's like an outdoorsy scent and the wax is cream and i was really looking for a laundry scent because i like to do laundry scents also in my warmer at work and like on days when i clean the house too and it smells really good it just smells like laundry honestly and the next one is autumn valley golden golden amber and balsam and again it has the little like wood on there and this is green wax it's a deep forest green so i guess that's where they get the balsam from mm -mm -mm. yeah it's super like tree like and i think this is another one that's going to be good for the warmer at work and then the last wax melt that i have for this entire haul also from sensationals is in caramel apple spice treat yourself <laughs> and it does have like a little apple emblem down here so i guess it just means like it's fruity and the wax is like a deep red caramel color mm -mm -mm. it literally smells like a caramel apple i was never one that liked caramel apples honestly it's too much chewing for me i don't like biting into whole apples anyways but mm, that smells amazing so yeah that's the last one in the haul but yeah that's everything that i got you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video let me know down below some of the wax that you've picked up recently or if you're planning on doing any wax hauls soon i'd love to see if you have a video i know some of my friends on youtube also do wax content so let me know down below if you have any like recent wax uploads but um that's everything for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed and if you did like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye